Hi guys, welcome to We Heart Cake channel. And today I will be showing you how to make this adorable mummified teddy bear cake. So for this project, I have baked a six inch round cake. Just half of it is good enough because I have a styrofoam piece that's gonna be the support. So I need a six inch half a dome of styrofoam. I have baked a four inch, a five inch, a six inch, and a seven inch. And I have an extra six inch, which we may or may not use. I need a wood board, a flange, some screws. Here I have number eight screws and they're half an inch long so that they don't go through. I have my PVC piping, of course, my power tools, knives. I need fondant for decorating. I need buttercream to put it together, hot glue so that I can get the boards onto the styrofoam. And that's about all we need. I'm going to use some light brown fondant that I colored so that I'm gonna make the little ears and the little bit of fussy around the eyes that you're gonna be able to see. And then the rest is gonna be white fondant. And I will use my ribbon cutter to cut all those pieces of white ribbon. And that's it, let's get started. First, I will um, attach my flange to the board. I'm going to build this guy a little bit towards the back, basically how I want this to be. I need to make, leave enough room for the little legs, which I will, I will probably make out of cake, but I may make out of Rice Krispie Treats, it depends. We're gonna play around and see what works best. And uh, so I have my four, five, and six inch, and I am going to put it, I'm leaving about two and a half inches in the back and this is a 12 inch board. And then I'm gonna have the head. It won't be this tall, but it's gonna be cute and small. We also need a half an inch PVC connector. Make sure it doesn't have the screwing part inside. Okay, so now I'm going to calculate how long I want my PVC pipe to be. I want him to end up with a really big head and a teeny tiny little body. I always end up making the bodies too big, so I'm gonna really try to keep it small. So basically, I would like it to be around here. And I have the connector, which is what I'm gonna use to support the styrofoam. So I want the connector to be right below where I want the styrofoam to be. So my PVC pipe is only going to be about that long. And then I need another one for the top. And this is, I forgot to buy the PVC pipe, so this is all I have if I mess it up. Okay, I have a second six inch board because you see, if I put my cake here, then I have all this metal that I don't want my cake touching. So I'm going to use this board to put underneath my cake and then put the cake in there. So I'm gonna give it the same shape as the one underneath. What I'm doing now is I'm, I put a little bit of buttercream on my board and I'm gonna put it on my six inch round cake. Um, and I'm gonna start, probably cut out the shape so I know where it is. And I'm gonna start uh, filling it and, and stacking the cake. Then I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit and then I'm gonna put it in the PVC pipe and then, um, and after that, we're gonna start working on the head with the styrofoam. So here we go. I forgot to mention that I have this little round cookie cutter that I'm gonna to use to make the hole in my cake so that by the time, it, when it is time to put it on the PVC pipe, I'm not gonna to have to make it all messy and just push it in. It's already gonna have a hole where I need it to be.
So I am going to prepare my board, my styrofoam for the head of the bear. So I don't want the styrofoam touching the cake. So I'm actually going to cover the whole thing in fondant and I'm gonna make it brown just like the color of the bear and I'm gonna put some piping gel on it just stick it to there and then afterwards I'll kind of recover it in fondant to make it match the whole head I cut a little piece of cardboard and I measured it with my PVC piping. I drew, I drew the, the circle there and I'm gonna cut it exactly. So I want this to be extra support. So when I put the cake on top, it doesn't sink in to the styrofoam. So this is gonna help keep it uh, on top of that little adapter. Covered, I am now going to not put it together because I want to stack my teddy bear first because once I put this in, I don't want any of those styrofoam pieces to crumble out and fall onto my cake. So I'm gonna save that for last. So um, I'm just gonna put this to the side, put the cake in the fridge, and then while everything is cooling down, I'm gonna work on the legs. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to make them out of cake. We're gonna see if that works. If not, we're going to plan B. Rice Krispie Treats. So let's get to the legs. Okay, so it just came to me. I have the best idea. I am going to use this little cookie cutter and I am going to cut pieces out of my cake and then put them together and that's gonna be the legs. So I'm gonna get to it. I don't want to put too much buttercream because I don't I want it to be pretty firm. I don't want this is mostly for decoration purposes, so just a teeny bit is enough. And then I am going to crumb coat the whole thing and put it in the fridge so that I can attach it to the cake later. So I have two legs. I will not make the arms because if I make them out of cake, they will be too heavy and his arms are gonna be to the side like this. So I don't want them starting to fall down. So I am going to just for the arms use a little bit of Rice Krispie treats so that they are light. Gravity doesn't pull them down. What I will need to do are the feet because a teddy bear's feet are pretty big, so we will use the rest of the cake for that. I found the perfect cookie cutter that I want the size of my, of the bottom of the feet to be. So it is about, it is exactly two and a half inches tall. So I will use these to cut out the feet and then once it's all cool in the fridge, once it's uh, been in there for a while, I will carve them a little bit to shape them. We can make the ears out of cake too, perfect. I'm gonna slice this in half. Actually, it's gonna be perfect. I'm going to use the other cookie cutter that I use for the feet to shape it a little round. So they see that way when I put it on, it's gonna be perfect. Perfect. I love it when things work out. All right, so I have these pieces put together and mummy teddy bear to have a little bits and pieces for showing through the mummy wraps. So I'm going to use this fondant and I'm going to cover parts of it, not all of my pieces. The ears, I will cover the whole thing because um, they'll look super cute. Then I'm gonna cover parts of, and I'm gonna do the same for the whole body. I'm gonna cover parts of it that I will let afterwards uh, show through. So this I am not going to do all over the cake. So I'm gonna have, I'm using the quilted tool, but anything will do, just something to kind of give it some texture. I don't want it to look plain because he's gotta be cute. And like I said, not everything's gonna be showing through, so. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a stack of pancakes. All right, so this has been in the fridge for a little bit, long enough that it's uh, pretty firm. I will now start to carve it, but um, since I've made my board all pretty, I'm gonna 
carve it out here. I am very happy with the shape of my bear. Can you guys see? I, I rounded the belly. I made the back look cute. I even had enough cake to start the arms. They're not complete, but the, the shape of them is uh, there. All right, and now I'm gonna hot glue the boards. Good thing I, I saved up this perfect circle. I am going to round it up a bit on the edges, around the edges, and I am going to use this as a tail because our bear needs a tail. Okay, I have now this cake. I'll be quiet with the bag. This cake has been chilling in the fridge for a little bit, so now it is nice and firm, and I can proceed to the next step. Cover it with some white fondant. First, I will make some patches of brown and add in certain places that I want, like showing through. Like for example, I want a little piece of um, skin to show through right here around the eye. So I'm gonna add that and give it a little texture, maybe a few other parts here. And then I'm gonna start wrapping it in white gauze, fondant gauze. I have my ribbon cutter. I have put an inch and a quarter in between the two cutters, so that's how wide my ribbons are going to be, or my gauze strips. And I rolled my fondant in the pasta roller at only at zero, because I don't want it to be too thin. And time to mummify. Okay guys, this is it. This is the Halloween teddy bear, mummified teddy bear. So I hope you guys give it a try and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel so you can see more cool videos like this. Thanks.